angles of elevation and depression. These are some of the applications that we use with right angle triangles. And I'm going to demonstrate to you where it comes from and how we use it. Now in the angle of elevation and depression, our direction is always in respect with the horizontal. So the, if the horizontal line is there and the horizontal line is there, they are always parallel. This will be the line of sight, which is always a straight line. What you will have then is we will call this angle that makes an angle horizontal and you look up is the angle of elevation. So angle of elevation and the angle that makes with horizontal coming down is called the angle of depression. Now because this line and this line is parallel, this angle must equal that angle and you can see that's because they are alternating angles or what you've done in year um, 8 and 9, um, alternate angles is the Z reason. So angle of depression equals the angle of elevation. Um, there's a lot of assumptions so once you start doing word problems these um, give us great um, talking points or discussion points for um, for assumptions. For example, we assume that the water is flat. If this boat is going up and down, you can see that that angle might change. We assume that the cliff is straight down and it makes 90 degrees with the water. Otherwise, we do not have a right angle triangle. Um, so there's a lot of things that we can then talk about during the assumptions. So angle of elevation is the angle with the horizontal up. Angle of depression is with the horizontal down. These two angles are the same.